When we're measuring information, the basic unit we use is a bit. But there's another unit that we come across, which is bytes. What's the relationship? Well, it's safe to assume in most cases that one byte contains 8 bits. Now in the past it wasn't always the case, in that a byte was not necessarily 8 bits. But nowadays, and at least for the courses that I cover, you can assume that one byte is 8 bits in length. So now we have two different units, bits and bytes. The symbols used, it's common to use a lowercase b for a bit and an uppercase b for a byte. So when you see the units and combine with different prefixes, try to distinguish between bits and bytes. Of course it becomes a little bit more complex because the prefixes when used with bits and bytes uh, unfortunately differ. And it depends upon the context or the, the domain where they're used. For example, with communications, data networking, often the prefixes of kilo, mega, giga, tera are using what we commonly know as the, the decimal prefixes of 10 to the power of 3, 10 to the power of 6, and so on. But when we talk about storage, those same prefixes, k, m, g, and t, uh, commonly refer to slightly different values, and in their binary uh, forms, 2 to the power of 10 for kilo, 2 to the power of 20 for mega, 2 to the power of 30, 2 to the power of 40, and so on. Note there are different values. That is, if we have 1 kilobyte, what does k mean? Well, if k is 10 to the power of 3, then that is 1 by 10 to the power of 3 bytes, which is 1000 bytes, which is the common meaning of k when we talk about communication systems. But we're talking, for example, about a hard disk size, file size, that is storage, 1 kilobyte, what does the K mean? Well, it commonly means 2 to the power of 10. So we get 1 times 2 to the power of 10 bytes. And 2 to the power of 10 is 1024. Of course, different values. Similar, or close, but different. So what does K mean? Well, it unfortunately depends upon the, the context. We were talking about communication systems or storage systems. If we're just dealing with approximate values, then it doesn't really matter, because as we see that 1000 and 1024 are about the same. But if we want to be precise, then we need to know whether k is 10 to the power of 3 or 2 to the power of 10. In the courses that I teach, we'll deal with mainly communications and we'll assume that all the values that I present are the decimal, 10 to the power of 3, 10 to the power of 6, and so on, just to keep things simple. As another example, if we have two KB using our standard notation that is 2 to the power of 2 times 10 to the power of 3 bytes which is 2000 bytes which is 2000 sorry 2000 multiplied by 8 bits because we have 8 bits in one byte so 16000 bits 2 kilobytes is equal to 16,000 bits. But of course, if we use the other notation for the prefix k, where k was 2 to the power of 10, it would be slightly different. And you can check the answer, it would be uh, equal to 16,384 bits. So again, if we're approximating the prefix of uh, the decimal 10 to the power of 3, 
or the binary 2 to the power of 10 makes very little difference. But if you want to be precise, make sure you know what prefix is being used. And for the courses I teach, we'll assume the decimal prefixes of 10 to the power of 3, 10 to the power of 6, and so on. So, you should know about the common units which are in use, the prefixes available, and especially the, the assumption that one byte equals 8 bits, and the prefixes that we're going to use are 10 to the power of 3, 10 to the power of 6 for mega, 10 to the power of 9 for giga, and so on.